Hey guys, Crazy here, and uh, so I just got the idea for some random series while doing something random. And so, here's the idea of the series. Uh, so I know this now, as you may have noticed, this has become a CSGO channel. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm playing offline with bots. What I'll do is I'll click random, and I'll click go, and I'll tell you how to hold down both sites and take over both sites in CSGO. So, let's go. Uh, no, I think what I'll do is I'll just, I'm not going to do random. I'm not playing this. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to have to wait. So now I'll start with the one, the only dust too so i'll see you guys when i get there uh if i ever get there so yeah see you guys after the break hey guys and we're back okay so i'm gonna start off by showing you guys uh let me turn this on okay Apparently gun is not working. Actually, I don't know the command to fly. So we're going to start off by uh, holding off a site on DE Dust 2. Uh, it's in casual for some reason, so we'll start off. So it depends on what your strat's going to be. If you're going to do, uh, just in general, to play Dust 2, I uh, usually put one guy on cat, two guys on B site, uh, and then two guys on a uh, long. So how you're gonna want to hold out long is uh, yeah. Let's start off by defending. It depends on if you're gonna be playing passive or aggressively. So if you're gonna be playing passively, oh sorry about my dog. Uh, if you're gonna be playing passively, uh, you're gonna be playing like by car. You're gonna have one guy by car, and you're gonna have one guy. No, let's we'll start off aggressively because it's easier to explain. Okay, so you're gonna. So what you're gonna do is when you spawn, you're gonna run up over here, and you're gonna have one of your teammates flash out like that, and then you have the other guy run in the pit, right? And so now this guy pit, if they push and they pick him, he can trade him off like that. So let's say uh, he gets picked here, and then uh, you can. Uh, if you're playing right here, you can get the uh, repeat. You can get the repick. So then they can't buy or whatever. Like then they then they can't get buy. Okay. Sorry about that. So that's just one way to play uh, aggressively. Now let's say they don't peek. So let's say they don't pick this guy here. So let's say you get over there and your teammate doesn't get picked. So then your teammate, what he's gonna want to do is you're gonna get here, and then he can he can sit right here, and then like let's say they don't come in general, then you guys can do whatever. So now if you're gonna play uh if you're gonna be playing B a uh, passively. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have one of your teammates here, right here, like this, right? He's going to want to have a nade or a molly prepped, whatever you can afford. And you're going to be bouncing like this, right? And now whenever you see a teammate, you just chuck your nade. Oh, nope, not like that. You're going to want to chuck your nade like that. Now that will hit the teammates, the enemy, like with a molly. That was a bad molly throw, but still, you get my point. Like, you're going to want to throw it. Like that. And just the Molotov is going to try to burn them and try to do as much damage. So right, when you're playing car, well at least in my opinion, whenever you're going to play car, when I play car, uh, I, I mean, yeah, if I get a kill, that's awesome. But if I don't get a car, I mean a pick, oh, I can't think. If I don't get a pick, then I'll just, uh, 
try to do as much damage as I can possible. Because that's all you want to do is do wow. as much damage to the enemies as possible. So if like you light two guys up but only kill one, you, I'd rather have two people lit up a lot than have one guy killed and I get traded without doing any other damage to the other guy. Anyways, for uh, the next guy, uh, for the other guy on long, uh, he would be doing the same thing. He would have a molly urinade prepped, and when the guy calls it out, then he'll throw the molly too. And that's just going to slow them down. And then for the guy on cat, uh, depends if you're playing cat aggressively. If you're playing cat passively, you're going to be playing right here. But then you can just run down and jump down the CT. Uh, being able to fly right now would be so helpful. Uh, but if you can't play, but if you're gonna be playing aggressively, I personally, I would want to smoke off cat too. So like, have a smoke down right there. Well, no, right there. Have a smoke there, and then you can play cat either way. You could have cat smoked off, and then whenever they peek that, you just shoot him. So that's a uh, holding a sight. And then if you're gonna play playing super aggressively, you're gonna you can play push all the way up mid. You could have them, you could have cat smoked off like that. And now you can watch mid, so you can watch slower. You can watch double doors. You can watch Xbox. It's really helpful. And now for holding off B site. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna take a cut right here, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I went to go play some games with some of my friends. So yeah, uh, so we talked about how to hold, uh, how to hold and take, did we talk about how to take a site? I think we did. I know we talked about how to hold a site. No, no, I only told talked how to hold a site. So we'll talk about how to hold mid. Uh, like I said, you could either play catwalk, but if you don't want to play that guy catwalk, you can play a good offer in mid. I mean, that's kind of like, duh. So uh, for B positioning, uh, what I always do is I always smoke it, smoke off tons. Which give my team more time to uh, go and take the site, so then I, uh, then uh, you'll have your one like bait player, you could say. He'll be either sitting here, here, or up on top of this box. And so whenever, like, let's say the three guys, they come out and they're like their guns are out and they're taking the site and they're shooting your teammate, right? And then this guy can just come up behind with his, like, P9, your MP9, and just goes, and just kills them all. Uh, so that's kind of how I, uh, that's one way I hold B site. Another way I'll hold B site. And these are with rifles and SMGs, by the way, guys. Another way, this is a really nice spot to play, uh, because you can peek here, and, like, wide peek, or you could go here, you can just crouch and sit here as they're running down ton. Tunnels. You can sit there, and you can shoot them on top of the box, or you can just sit right here. This is where I sit usually, because the oppers go sit like right over there, right? They go sit over there, right after that decoy, and they shoot at you. And so you can hit them as they shoulder peek. It's really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of for holding sites. Uh, so I guess I'll talk about taking sites, because I don't think I really talked about that. I'll have to go watch the other footage. Okay, so you have a team, right? All five of you, let's just say all five of you are rushing B. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a player sit here. Either sit here or sit like here. Just sit somewhere where or they can sit down here. Somewhere where they can stop them from flanking in here, and uh, so yeah, that's where you would want somebody, to sit, one person to sit. Let's get rid of the bomb. Uh, another, and so basically for everybody else, you're gonna want uh, your entry fagger up front, and then you're gonna want a support player supporting by throwing a flash right there. 
That will flash basically everybody in the site. Not what everybody. So you basically, as you're running, you just aim towards the end of the tunnel. You run and throw, and the pop, the flash will pop. So yeah, that's a nice flashbang. Uh, there's really I don't use. I personally don't use any smokes or stuff. I mean, I, other than that, you could also do that. And your entry fagger can kill whoever's there. They can quick peek that, hack that, peek that, peek car, and then they can deal with the people on site in window. Can you see over there? Even like you would have been able to see with that smoke. So, yeah, I mean that smoke there though is like unreliable because you never know where it's gonna land. Another nice thing to do is as you're running, have one of the other players smolly that, and then again check out everything because that would basically molly anybody in this back spot here. That it would molly them to death. So yeah, that's what. Go into the grocery store and get dog food and milk. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of how to hold down a how to take out B site if you're all rushing. But usually you all won't be rushing. Uh, I generally when I'm going A though, I usually play a lurk right there, and I'm usually the lurk. And then you also are gonna want somebody to hit every round, basically. You would either want them to be back there the entire game, basically. So then that's just gonna sit there because the only way they can cross is in this guy's line of sight. So he can, even if he doesn't even shoot at him, he can call it out so then they know that they're there. So how you're gonna want to take uh so mid? Uh, I personally would. If you're gonna come from mm, uh, outside long here, you're gonna wanna do a nice little pop blast like that. And then check everything. But if you're gonna come from here, uh, this is a really cool smoke that I uh, learned. So if you're gonna just go take here and you're just like, no, let's not take there. You're gonna run, you're gonna, oh no, I didn't do that right. You're gonna run. Wait, what did I just smoke off there? Sec. That might have. That's actually a really nice smoke, and then you can just. But yeah. Basically, what you're gonna run is you're gonna. Hey, let me put this smoke clear. Okay. You're gonna run. Ah, I'm overfunding it. Now I'm underfunding it. Basically, what the smoke is, what I'm trying to do, the smoke I'm trying to do, is that. Oh. That Xbox. I'm trying to smoke Xbox, but one way to smoke Xbox is an underhand toss. It's really cool. So yeah, so you wanna smoke Xbox no matter what. So you wanna might wanna play somebody lower, and then you're gonna wanna check that because people usually sit there. And then uh, so what you're gonna and then you can get run. You can, if I could do that flash right. Flashback. If I could do these nades right, that would be nice. Flashback. Flashback. I guess these flashes are working. <laughs> They're popping, they'll hit everybody, and then he can just. It ain't pause! You can take out car. Another thing you can do. Run and throw the molly there. They're burning out goose, which can help. So yeah, uh, that's how you take. That's how you would take it from there. Uh, from cat, I'm just gonna redo long. Uh, if I did it, I'll cut it out because I'm gonna much rather prefer this. Okay, so either you're gonna want to uh, flash, or you're either gonna want to flash over like that. 
We're gonna wanna flash over like that. Then peek and take out the... And you're gonna wanna make sure when you further that flash, it pops, and then you pick the opper. Cause then if you peek the opper, you wanna get that opper because there's always, in most map, on most matches, you're gonna have an opper sitting on this right here. And then, uh, and then you just peek dumpster, kill the guy dumpster, kill the guy here, through check pit, always check pit. Always check pit, a lot of people don't check pit. But people like me, who when they, like I showed you, throw that there. Get down under here, and hide, and then, and they're all out there, just kill them all. So yeah, uh, what else? Uh, what else is there? Uh, oh, I know where you can, another what, man, strat, uh, another uh, way to take a B is a B split, so basically we'll have some people in uh, B tons, you know how them push out from tons, and then you'll play here. Uh, I got the smoke from the wall. Sorry about my brother and sister. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't throw the smoke from right there. Uh, Yeah, that's it, that's it. But one thing about the smoke, I'm pretty sure, oh no, yeah, right here. See, they can peek you from right there. So you want to be careful when you throw that smoke. Uh, there's another smoke, I don't know how to do it, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to be. You're going to want the smoke on this box right here, like. I'm done. I'm not trying. But like, if you have an opera right there, they can kill those guys. Ready, like, let me show you. Go, next girl. An opera can watch that still. So and that's one reason why you wouldn't want to like that smoke is kind of risky. I'm trying to think. Uh, is there any other like cool strats? Ooh, I know. I know what. Okay. So there's also some pretty cool bomb plant spots. Uh, I'll just show you a couple on each site. So one on this site is right here on this box. Like you'll heal me. Basically what you'll have is you'll have the bomb in there. Uh, you can plant bomb right on this box here. A lot of people don't check that. So that's a pretty cool spot. And I'm pretty sure you can't plant up here. You might be able to. I don't know. I haven't tried it in a while. No, let's go try it right now. Here, I'll just like not plant the bomb, but I'll show you like where to plant it. This guy is ready for anything. Because I'm learning too from doing this. Like I'm learning some cool little plant spots. Yeah, it's really you can't plant bomb. But yeah, uh, that's something that you'll have to test out. Uh, now, do you know some cool spots on air? That we can some plant on. Uh, but usually, it's hard to hide the bomb on air. Uh, so I, you can plant on basically anywhere in this general area. Like you can plant right here. So if you're gonna plant for catwalk, or let's say you're gonna have a player on catwalk, you're gonna wanna plant right here. Uh, you can plant right here, that's planting for long. You can also plant it on this. You can plant it right here. Uh, you can plant it like on this box too, which is pretty cool. 
So yeah, uh, that's kind of like all the cool little plant spots. Uh, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, test that like button not once at dice, but quite. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Actually, no wait, no. Uh, if there's a cool, uh, if there's a map you guys want me to teach you how to play, like this, like basically make a video like this. But like, I'm gonna get better at these videos. I might want to remake them uh, in a little while, but. If you want like a map that you don't, you're not really good at, let me know. I'm not doing like alpha or assault. I'm not like alpha on that, but assault, vertigo. I'm not doing any of those maps, but I'll do nuke. That's like the only reserve duty map I will play. Like I'll show you guys how to play. But I'll show you all the active duty and yeah. And so I'll end it off with a cool little smoke. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did. Test that like one. Not once at this, but quite. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye.